stickers, how's it going? I hope you're doing amazing today. So we're going to talk about this project here. I promised in my last video that I actually would make a project that would demonstrate how uh, a sleep function on your Arduino actually can help you uh, create a really full project that you can run off a battery. So hang on, I'll be right back. So we're going to do something slightly different with this. Uh, one is I have some other stuff that I need to do that really takes my time so I don't have the time to really go deep into it in the video. But two, I've also found that a lot of you actually are okay with just looking at the blog that has everything really well explained. I'm just going to show you in this video how much power it draws, how much current it draws, and how to measure that. And uh, that's all we're going to do f with this video. Always the blog link is in the description and has everything in there that you're going to need to build this project. With this project I'm going to do slightly different. I'm not going to really go step through the code line by line through in the video. I already wrote a really nice blog about that and you can find the link in the description below of this video. In this video I'm actually going to show you in practicality how much current this project draws. So let's go. So this here is the um, humidity temperature sensor. This here is the SD card. This here is the time clock and this here is the Arduino Pro Mini and you see how small it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to supply power through this little clip here and uh, with this wall adapter and how I've connected it is is that here is the ground, the ground of the plug, you see goes into the ground bar here and then you see that uh, the power that comes out of here goes through this cable into here the multimeter and then with the multimeter it goes through the multimeter comes out back out through the black plug and then goes into here where we have a raw import and that basically means you can put raw power on it. There's a little uh, 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 transistor there to convert the voltage, but we're using 5 volts, so it's not really that big of a deal. Now, in the end of the blog, we talk about how to minimize the power consumption. So what we have here is we have got a transistor. So you have over here, you have... A, uh, let me move this out of the way, a 1K ohm uh, transistor, I mean a resistor, that gets basically connected to the middle port pin of this, um, of this uh, uh, transistor. Now, what happens if I apply power to it, it connects this lead with this lead and this lead goes into here and this lead is connected to 5 volt through this bridge over here. So you see everything is connected. Now what we're going to do is really simple. We're going to set this to amps and then I'm going to press the function button and I don't know if you can see it, but actually now it says DC instead of AC. I need to press that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to power this system. And I have set the loop time to be a minute. So you see it runs 24 and then it goes all the way back to 3 milliamps when it's asleep. So... We're going to wait for it to wake up, just to show you. It takes about a minute. Look, it comes back on. See, it had a spike. It actually goes all the way, almost up to 100 millivolts, and goes back to sleep. So now, 
I'm going to simulate by taking this power and put it on the power rail to actually show you when it comes back alive because right now it's still in sleep mode this thing when it gets reinitialized that when it comes back that it actually will be running a lot more so one sec so we see it comes back alive after a minute and then it goes back to sleep but you notice that it now oh there it comes back alive and goes back to sleep and you notice that now it actually runs 11 milliamps so before when I disconnected the power of this through this transistor it only ran 3 milliamps now you can see that there is a large difference in current draw so meaning that if you don't use that transistor you have a lot shorter lifespan I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it and you want to see more of it please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the little bell to get notifications if you want to subscribe to my Facebook page and follow it the link is below in the description and if you want to subscribe to my newsletter then just go to the link to my blog it's in the description below and at the bottom of the blog is a form that you can fill out to subscribe to my newsletter and you get also updates that way I hope you enjoyed it I hope to see you fairly soon keep your solder irons hot and your multimeter on bye for now and have a great day